Long ago, when the earth was free, trees a plenty and birds on a spree, rivers brimmed with water, the splendor of the oceans would never falter. And with the grace of the Lord Almighty, mightiest of the mighty, harmony reigned, life sustained. But then came a time, man no longer remained sublime. He gave in to his baser instinct. Ergo, creatures became extinct. Now technology ruled the roost. Deforestation got an unfortunate boost. Plants dwindled, birds got swindled, with their nests raised, forests ablaze, temperatures soared, and oceans overflowed. Of our doomed planet, this is the plight. But we at Anactus ARSD have pledged to fight, to avert the untimely death, to carry the day. Hold your breath as we show you the way. 2017, the year when it all began, five young students came together and imbibed the spirit of We All Win in their hearts, marking the advent of Inactus ARSD. Inactus ARSD then culminated a series of entrepreneurial projects conquering the world, nature, mind, health and all in between. Starting as a local chapter of a globally recognized organization, Inactus ARSD found its standing by taking care of three of the most underprivileged and underappreciated sections of the society, women, gardeners and porters, uplifting not just their standards, but their mind through the entrepreneurial project it foresees. Inactus ARSD follows each of the sustainable development goals laid out by the United Nations diligently and also keeps in mind to promote what each project has kept as its core. Art in Kalakari, Growth in Srijan, Love in Samvedna and Care in Niramaya. Under our brilliant convener, Dr. Manika Jain, the society has experienced tremendous growth with her ideas, serving as a guiding force for our successful story. Unlike other stories with one big climax, the Kabush, this story has two. So get ready and hold your seats in place. The two biggest Kabush you would ever see. It was in the year 2017 when the ordeal of the proponents of a greener environment, gardeners and potters came to the notice of Inactus ARC. We saw that they were being grossly underpaid despite their backbreaking labor. It was mainly on two counts, a highly competitive market and a lack of consistent demand. Added to that was a problem of seasonal unemployment among the workers. We decided to step up and resolve the situation and that's how Project region was born. In the August of the same year, we laid the foundation of this project intending to ally their miseries and empower them at the same time. We aim to provide them with sustainable living by contributing to the channels needed to bridge the gap between their skills and needs. Based on our extensive research, we collaborated with the underemployed section of both the communities and ventured into a unique product line, Miniature Plants. Projects region has been the recipient of some major achievements since its inception. Here's a highlight of them. Despite the COVID-19, we introduced a vertical of farming, hydroponics, for which we received a 50,000 grant from KPMG. Till date, we have created more than 10,000 digital impressions and sold more than 210 indoor plants worth rupees 60,000. Projects Region now has its own Instagram page to promote its product and spread awareness about the gardeners and potters community. We showcase the variety of plants we sell and their benefits. Our project covers the following SDGs. SDG 8 – Decent Work and Economic Growth SDG 13 – Action Plan SDG 15 – Life on Land SDG 3 – Good Health and Wellbeing SDG 9 – Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure SDG 11 – Sustainable Cities and Communities SDG 12 – Responsible Consumption and Production SDG 13 – Climate Action One major obstacle we all had to go through was the coronavirus and the lockdown imposed on us. Shifting everything from offline to online wasn't an easy transition, but we managed to do so by launching an e-commerce website where we sell all our Inactus ARSD products. Another major issue was that our products are very delicate and need to be handled with utmost care for which we couldn't use the regular delivery methods as the risk of damage was very high. 
The packaging also had to be done properly and meticulously. The team persevered to conduct research in order to tackle the issues regarding pandemic, fragility and delivery with utmost dedication and came up with cost-effective and sustainable solutions for the same. Before 2022, we were restricted to specific areas of South Delhi, but with innovative marketing techniques and efficient logistics, our delivery service is available throughout Delhi, including the NCR. How did you change your life after joining the NCR? After joining the NCR, our life changed a lot. How did you change your life after joining the बहुत कम सेल हुआ करती थी नेक्टस के साथ जुड़ने में हमारी बहुत ज़्यादा ही सेल हो रही है इस टाइम नेक्टस से जुड़ने के लिए हमें बहुत प्रॉफिट हो रहा है और आपको फायदा फायदे हो रहे हैं आपको अच्छा हाँ जी मैम हमारे फायदे हो रहे हैं डिस्पाइट द वायरस रिफ्यूजिंग टू लीव अस फॉर गुड द जील ऑफ अ कम्युनिटीज एंड सोसाइटी मेम्बर्स रिमेंड अनपर्ट एंड वी कैप वर्किंग ऑन द मिशन टू एक्सपैंड द प्रोजेक्ट वी कंटिन्यू टू लुक अहेड टू ब्राइटर फ्यूचर विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ब्लू पॉट्री as we believe in the preservation and promotion of the traditional crafts of our Indian heritage. In addition to that, we plan to collaborate with florists and enter the gifting niche, intending to provide bouquets for affordable prices to welcome dignitaries at various institutions. With hope in our eyes and faith in our communities, we look forward to witnessing the escalation of the status of the latter. Empathy is the medicine the world needs. With Judith Olof's quote in mind, Enacta CRSD started Project Samvedna in 2017 to empathize with the people in need. It is widely understood and believed that mental health is just as important as physical health. However, not much importance is given to mental well-being. With the onset of COVID-19, mental health disorders escalated. So, to garner awareness and spread positivity among the underprivileged, Project Samvedna commenced with the idea of a sensitive and understanding approach. It aims to provide emotional support to mentally and emotionally challenged individuals. We believe that sometimes what people yearn for is a hand to hold, an ear to listen to and a heart to understand. We therefore dedicate some visits solely to spending our time with these communities and connecting with them on a personal level. Listening to their stories and hearing them sing, dance and enjoy with us has given us unimaginable peace and elation that knows no bounds. Authoring blogs based on their stories and conducting mental health sessions has been a duty that we have undertaken with great zeal. Project Samvedna helps in attaining the following Sustainable Development Goals SDG 2 Zero Hunger, SDG 3, Good Health and Wellbeing, SDG 5, Gender Equality, SDG 10, Reduce Inequalities, SDG 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, SDG 17, Partnership for the Goals. Project Samvedna has joined hands with the Earth Serious Foundation, an internationally recognized NGO founded by Mr. Ravi Kalra to serve the underprivileged through the Gurukul shelters that care for the elderly terrorist attack victims and emotionally and physically challenged people and each one feed one NGO under project Kalakari where we assist and guide them towards the path of becoming independent and self-reliant by providing training sessions and honing their entrepreneurial skills. We have also collaborated with NGOs such as Little Seeds NGO, a well-known Delhi-based NGO that strives to improve the lives of poor children and seeks to improve the welfare of the underprivileged. Enactus and thousands of others were left heartbroken as Mr. Davi Kalra, an ardent supporter and founder of Earth Serious Foundation, passed away last year. This was a huge loss for us and it left us deeply sorrowful. The members worked with zealous dedication but were often faced by the challenges of COVID restrictions and delivery of goods. But even this could not hold us back from staying in touch with our communities, wherein we catered to their well-being digitally and physically. We had online sessions with them to ensure their safety and mental stability during the tough times, as well as visited them to provide the essentials needed to cater to their daily requirements and bring a smile to their beautiful faces. <laughs> बाहर के लोगों से मिलना बातें वातें करना बहुत अच्छा लगता है यहाँ तो फिर सेम रूटीन चलता है 
project samvedna tackles an important issue one that could never be less relevant and we are trying our best to use it to its full potential in the future we plan to increase the number of field visits so that we can talk to more people and understand the problems better develop a website for the betterment of mental health through anonymous forums and submissions so that the discussion can become destigmatized and involve regular tips expert supervision and various other activities the purpose for which inactus arac came into its very existence has been instilled in every aspect of both of these projects honoring the principle of we all win and serving the perfect blend of entrepreneurship and empathy despite covid-19 engulfing and ruthlessly controlling all aspects of life or the stagnancy that followed inactus still found a way for all of us to keep our feet on the ground most importantly the local chapter that is and always will be in actus arsd and its successful projects let's take a moment to appreciate how far not just in actus arsd but all of us including our communities have come their infectious and beautiful smiles a will to live a better life minds churning in innovative ideas and a heart brimming with love and empathy and well as for the ride this one only goes up